Uh, my name is George Farker, I'm the Chief Fire Officer for Highlands and Islands Airport and uh, we've been involved in partnering with the arrangements to get this Scottish Fire and Rescue Service training facility on our airport fire ground. This is the third phase of a partnership that we've been engaged in for a number of years with Orkney College, uh, Orkney Islands Council and now bringing on board as a partner Scottish Fire and Rescue Service. And this really puts our airport front and centre of the communities that we serve and provides uh, a state-of-the-art training facility for the benefit of the whole of the Orkney Islands, which is a, 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 which is a really big thing for, for the island community. The other aspect of what we can deliver here is we can deliver um, different types of training to different industries within the island uh, and we can train uh, merchant navy firefighters, uh, seamen, um, the agriculture industry in, uh, in ship firefighting tactics and techniques. So that's another dimension to what we, what we deliver. So all in all, um, the culmination of uh, probably about five years of, of hard work uh, and collaborative work with, uh, with our Scottish Fire and Rescue colleagues. So obviously we can train here as the Scottish Fire Rescue Service itself, but we can also um, adapt the property for ship firefighting. If you look at the base of the doors, you may notice on the way through there are slots here. So this is to, so we can slide into a, a sill plate which simulates a 150mm rise that you'd encounter in a ship where you actually step over doors and you would have sort of watertight doors and um, bulkheads. So you can kind of, we can check it around for different types of scenarios and different partners for their different types of exercises. So, so we can practice um, working from, from a higher level in the building to a lower level and actually proceeding through what's called a vertical um, heat barrier, which gives our firefighters, our trainee crews, the experience of um, sort of moving from an area of heat, moving through it to sort of a, a lower area. Um, and also from the ship firefighting side of things and maritime side of things, a lot of their work is obviously they have to work to set up different scenarios. Behind you there, there is a, a metal table um, that simulates perhaps a, a ship's galley, a ship's galley kitchen. So obviously they have gas and fitted installations like that on a ship. So we can set up a crib fire on top of a, a galley kitchen like that. Um, and obviously set up different types of scenarios that they may encounter as well. So there's lots of possibilities and permutations. So and it generates a fair amount of heat as, as you would expect. Um, you're starting to get into some of the areas of darkness now. Obviously you can imagine once those windows are closed, you, you cannot see what you're doing in here. So guys, search techniques and search procedures need to be bang on. They need to be confident, know where they are and know how to get back out again. So that is the, the full purpose of of this rig basically. It's learning how to be safe and how to manage fire conditions. Um, you'll see there's like a baffle plate above here, that's obviously just to deflect the thermal radiation and the heat throughout the room. And this is what we call a sacrificial plate, so it just stops the punishment on the lining of these rigs. We want the rig to last as long as possible. Um, obviously bring crews in from the top, um, simulate being um, basically a fire crew being put onto a ship by obviously by an airdrop, by a helicopter drop and then obviously they work their way down through uh, the vessel to whichever deck is involved. Um, we have a, a bedroom which you'll see just through there just to simulate a different type of search and obviously areas that we need to focus on in a different type of compartment. Um, Ali has got a, what we call a thermal image camera here, some of you, you will be familiar with them, some of you may not be, but if we could have a I'll volunteer, I'll sit in the corner just there and you'll see that crews will have a, a thermal image camera if it's available for them to, to utilise and it will show up a heat trace of a person that we're trying to search for. Okay, yeah, we've got some hot points. I've got some hot points, I hope so. <laughs> quite a good kitchen here um, and also it gives them a, a working area to um, complete assessments, written assessments or any sort of paperwork uh, that they may need to, to complete for their assessment day. Okay. Uh, typically in a three year cycle for uh, uh, firefighters they need to complete uh, a BA refresher one year, a t what we call a TAC vent refresher the next year and then a fire behaviour refresher the next year in a three year cycle. So um, this is a an integral part of that. Okay, so there's obviously written assessments as well, but they get to work here in the kind of classroom.
conditions and uh, complete that. So we'll, we'll move through to here is the VA training room, which is extremely warm. <laughs> VA sets, how to clean it, how to maintain it, how to wear it, how to test it, um, and make sure that they're they're fully conversant with it for, for training, but obviously for operational side of things as well. So there's facilities in here obviously to go through technical input, whether it's set input or input on the different types of exercises that we'll be we'll be facilitating on that day um, and we can break down what the runners and riders are what, you know who the teams are going to be um, and so on um, so that basically concludes this building I'll, we'll take you outside just now and show you just a few of the other areas of the rig and then we'll just be hopefully on time for the purposes of the demo today the doors will be wide open so that you can kind of see the conditions that the guys are, are dealing with um, but at the top of the box, you'll see there's a raised box and a raised platform. The box is lined with the board that I detailed inside, the, the sterling board. Um, and that's just, at the moment, we just have one single layer of board in there. On a typical exercise, we would have two, maybe three linings, all, all the way around the, the exterior of the box. And what that does is replicate a typical fire loading of a front room, which uh, it's not a lot, but temperatures in here can get in excess of 600 degrees, which is extremely hot, extremely hot. There are uh, what we call thermocouple sensors on the outside so that we can monitor conditions outside when we've got teams inside. There are obviously safe limits that we will, we will kind of keep guys um, safe within. If it starts getting too hot, then they need to manage the conditions themselves. So Ali and Adrian will be our, our demonstration team later on, and I'll talk through what they're doing and what they're encountering. There'll be gas cooling, which is using different types of branch techniques. The branch is obviously the, the termination of the hose, and they'll basically manage the conditions as they feel fit. They're, they're both instructors, and they will gas cool the products of combustion, which I'll talk about later on, and, and then basically take the fire right the way through to it, extinguishing it uh, in a safe, controlled manner. Um, and that's the whole ethos of this, is, is teaching, teaching, maintaining competency in compartment fires. Building construction has changed drastically over the years. Uh, domestic properties now are basically airtight. There's plastics, there's resins, there's toxins, there's all sorts of things that we need to, to keep our crews safe with. Basically. Our demo box which simulates a well ventilated compartment fire. The box is lined out with the combustible wood and the crib fire at the back of the room. The crews are just checking that they've got water supply, checking that they've got everything in place. They'll adjust their cones so they've got a good branch setting for compartment firefighting. The, as I said earlier on, and as Chief, Chief Hay mentioned, this, this is Ali and Adrian. These are our two local instructors for, for Orkney Islands. So these are the guys that train the crews up here on a regular occurrence. So every team would be, would be where you're standing just now. All the students would be standing outside. And in a pair, in a BA team of two, an instructor would take two trainees inside and they would have to manage the conditions that they, that they are uh, confronted with. So they'll do a, a variation of gas cooling techniques, which is basically cooling down the gas layer up in front of them to the, until they can take it to a certain point where they can actually extinguish the fire safely. So if you look right in the back of the compartment, there is what we call an engine fire. It's just some wood that's stacked in a certain way so that we can ignite the combustible linings of the box. So that's what the guys are doing just now. You can come a little bit closer if you wish, but just don't go beyond the cone line, okay?
guys have dealt with the conditions quite well there. They've not back the combustible gases, they brought the temperature in that compartment back down to a safe, more bearable uh, environment. They're now basically doing direct cooling. They're, they can see the seat of the fire, they've located it, and they're going to extinguish it. The demo exercise, the guys have dealt with the conditions quite well, uh, I should hope so because they're the instructors, so, uh, so they've, done, they've done what they needed to do, they've not found the conditions, uh, we've got conditions with an available uh, uh, situation, you can see the seat of fire, they can obviously see the fire back. Myself and the other instructors will be working in the facility in Kirkwall to perform BA refreshers. So that'll be testing and instructing the local fire crews from Orkney in breathing apparatus search and rescue, in the new fire behaviour techniques that we've got, and moving on to tactical ventilation courses as well, which will all be used by this facility by the local Orkney firefighters from Scottish Fire Rescue Service. My name is Mark Shiner, I'm um, Head of the Maritime Studies Department in Orkney College and we've been working with IL for about five years now. Um, we put the original uh, fire training rig over there, which is the Red Rig, specifically for training seafarers for their mandatory tickets that they need. And we do breathing apparatus and firefighting training, search and rescue stuff. Um, recently we've been developing um, confined spaces training. Now none of that would have been possible without our partnership with Highlands and Islands Airports. Uh, we teach the, the boaty bits, they teach the hot and smoky bits, and it's a really great partnership that's been working now for several years, so um, we're very, very happy. I'd like to think that maybe in some ways that's, that's opened the doors for, for renewed partnerships and helped to get us where we are today. That'd be good.